Welcome. Today we're going to be looking at another solar sail ship entry. Today it's Metal Rain. He's decided to build me a little solar sail for his entry in the uh, regatta. So here we are. And uh, let's see if we can't turn that off. And yeah, so this is his solar sailor. Done in the same style as his usual, uh, as all the, you know, his usual ships. It's pretty nice. It's gone for a compact sail. It's got a few docking points, single turret, and he's got a beacon in his engine, which is a new idea. I haven't seen many people do that. That's cool. So I'm going to see if there's an interior, but uh, yeah, that there it is. I believe it's called the Aurora. And like I say, it's built in his style. <laughs> and he's gone for, in fact, he's gone for glass wedges for his sail. It's always interesting to see how people put them together. He's gone for a wedge on the top and a wedge underneath. Which is different from any of the other ones that we've seen so far. So yeah. Let's see what's behind the door ah, so when you open the door it actually reveals the core so he's made a core room with a plex door around it so yeah that's awesome right let's go and have a look inside shall we i'm not gonna leave my grab oh no i'll stay in it huh. <laughs> Very nice. So we've got a weapons computer, a core, and I'd say a faction block. So he'll I'm gonna turn the gravity off actually hurt. Oh no! Yeah. Oh. What's this? It's got a pulse. So he's got all his computers in his core room. And uh, yeah, pulse computer. So I'm interested to see where that's fitted. Where is a pulse computer? Let's go and find out. mounted right there. Interesting. Ah, so it's mounted right there. Interesting. Must be underneath the floor. Right, I think we're going to check out the turret. Put a giant pulse in the back. Well, there you go. I was wondering where he put it. It's in there, in the back. Loving the core. I'm really liking the uh, effect he's managed to get with the uh, glass sort of casing, the crystal on both sides. Uh, I like the exposed sort of, I don't know, what do you call that, power conduit engine. I think he said there were solar panels that were, that were obviously charging up the engine. <laughs> so yeah, another beautiful ship from Metal Rain and another awesome, oh my god, I think he might have pulsed me. <laughs> and another awesome entry. Well that pulse works, doesn't it? That, that was crazy. <laughs> interesting because the effect seems bigger than the uh, radius. I was right here. <laughs> so it pushed me 730 meters away. That's not bad. The first person to use a pulse weapon on his ship and as you can see that works. So yeah, 
good creative design. So let's check the stats on the uh, Aurora sail ship by Metal Rain. So it's looking at uh, mass is 1008, thrust is 150. So actually, he's way under thrust. So yeah, he can have a lot more on there. I think he just needs to have an extra zero. Let's see. 1008 mass means... Hmm, interesting. He's built it within the block size. So it's uh, 123 length, 41 height, 41 width, mass 1008, thrust 150. Another awesome entry. I'm going to get into parking up with the rest of them. And um, yeah, we're building in numbers, which is great. I'll be putting more videos out soon on the rules for the regatta. But you know, this is a reasonable size ship for it. So yeah, excellent. Good work, mate. Thanks for bringing it along. And uh, can't wait to get us all on the same screen and go in for that race around the star. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you soon.